now I wanted to talk to you about mental health week and things called emotions. Emotions. Now emotion is how we feel. So how do you think this person feels? Happy. They're smiling. They feel happy. How does this person feel? Surprised or shocked. Can you all do that? Can you all do a nice happy face? Can you do a shocked face? Oh, wonderful, that was wonderful. How did this person feel? It was a bit sad. Can we all do a sad face? How does this person feel? Ugh. Angry. Can we do an angry face? Brilliant. So we can feel lots of different emotions. And sometimes it's really hard to know what to do with those emotions. Even when we're happy, sometimes we can be so happy that we're a little bit hyper and we don't know how to deal with it. So we're gonna look this week at different emotions and I've got my friend, Billy. Hey Billy, can you come and say hello? Come on. Oh, hello boys and girls. Really nice to see you today. Well, Billy, I was wondering if you could help me because we're talking this week all about emotions. Emotions? Oh, that's so interesting. It is, isn't it? I was wondering, do you ever have different emotions and feelings? Oh, yes. I sometimes feel super, super happy or super, super sad. Oh, that's, that's interesting, Billy, thank you. And, and how do you feel today? I feel a little bit sad. Oh, Billy, I'm sorry you feel a bit sad. Shall we try and think of a way to find out what to do if we feel sad? Yes, please, boys and girls. I really want to feel happy again. Okay, well, Billy, if you sit there, me and my friends in my class, all my boys and girls, we're going to try and work out how you can make yourself feel better. Now, I've got this book, and I love this book. It's called How You Are Feeling Today. Now, we know Billy's feeling sad, and what's lovely about this book is I can go through any of the pages, and I can find the one when you feel sad. It has different feelings. So I'm gonna to go to the page where it says, if you feel sad. And Billy, listen carefully because it gives ideas of what you can do if you feel sad. So when you feel sad, you could find someone who makes you feel happy and go and be with them. So if, if maybe um, your mummies or your daddies or um, your brothers and sisters make you happy, you could go and be with them. If someone that isn't in your house makes you happy and you're not able to go and be with them, you could ask mummies and daddies or any adult in your house if they will sit with you while you ring that person, there's these things called FaceTime, it's amazing. And you can actually talk to the person, you can see them, but you can only do that when you have an adult with you. But that could be a really nice way to make you feel happy. Don't you think, Billy? He's nodding. You could find a cozy and comfortable place and just have a big cry. Sometimes I feel so much better after I've had a big cry. Sometimes I feel sad and I don't know why I feel sad. Then I do a big cry and I feel better. Sometimes you just need to let it out, whatever it is, don't you? You could do something kind for someone else. And considering this week is all about kindness, that could really help. And you might think, well, how can doing something for someone else and I'm sad make me feel better? But it does. Being kind is the best thing ever. You could daydream about what you're looking forward to. Oh, Mrs. Wilson daydreams all the time. I love to, day to daydream. You can dream about anything. Dreams are the best things. You could do some star jumps till you're completely out of breath because that will take your mind off being sad. And it also gets your heart going and makes you feel alive. You could dance in a really silly way to some fun music. You could put my favorite song on, Bring It All Back, S Club 7. That will get you going. You could find a place and just sit and watch your thoughts go by one by one. So you could say, right, well, that's a sad thought. 
Bye bye. There's another sad thought. Bye bye. You could also just imagine that you're laughing loads and loads. Sometimes when you imagine that you're laughing, you start to laugh. It's a bit infectious. You could all just laugh and laugh and laugh. And you'll be surprised if you, you start laughing, someone else starts laughing and someone else starts laughing. Now, there's no right or wrong way to feel. We can all feel different ways. But it's really good to notice how we feel and think about how we can make it better. So should we see if we've helped Billy? Hi, Billy. Do you feel a bit better now? Oh, Mrs. Wilson, boys and girls, I feel so much happier now. I'm going to go and dance around my house. Oh, Billy, I'm so pleased about that. Tomorrow we might look at a different emotion. I'm going to read you a very, very short story now. And it's called The Little Book of Peace. A peaceful mind comes with calm thoughts. A peaceful heart lets you dance with life. Silence can be the perfect peace. Take time to walk in the sunshine or in the rain. Love is the peace that comes from when you believe in yourself. Now I know that I, you know that I want you all to believe in yourself. You're all brilliant. So believe in yourself. Smile each time you see a bird. I do this and I, it always makes me feel good. I just feel, just try it today. If ever you see a bird, smile at the bird. Take a breath, rest and relax. Wherever you go or whatever you do, spread a little fairy magic. And you might think, well, I don't have fairy magic, but actually magic is in all of us. And you can spread that magic by doing random acts of kindness, smiling at someone. That's a random act of kindness and that is spreading magic. Helping someone who needs help, that's spreading magic. We can all spread magic and we can all spread kindness. But it's also okay to sometimes feel a little bit sad or a little bit scared or a little bit unsure or even a little bit angry, that's okay. 